It's not exactly a brand new method of resolution, but it is a relatively new concept in civil matters at the Supreme Court level. And where civil disputes are concerned, mediation is shaping up to be not only a viable option, but possibly the option of choice. Today's senior judicial representatives, including Chief Justice Kenneth Benjamin, attorneys, mediators and mediation stakeholders, joined in a forum on that topic, sort of an awareness and enhancement session. Supreme Court Justice Courtney Abel is one of the chief proponents of mediation, and he says it's not even really about helping with the backlog. It is a better means of arriving at a just result and the result which is sat satisfactory to the parties, which builds relationships and it provides a permanent solution than the trial process. Because the trial process, as you know, apart from anything else, can take a long time. It's very costly. It damages relationships and it can be appealed. And uh, a mediation, um, the result of a mediation, an order from a mediation, is in fact a consent order, which in most cases can't be appealed. That brings the matter to an end. So the benefits are enormous, other than backlog. But that is one of the um, benefits, um, um, the reduction of backlog. So at what point does mediation enter the picture? Well, it can be ordered at any time, during the case management stage, after a trial but before a judge enters a decision, and even at the appeals stage. In terms of court-connected mediation, those persons are specifically trained in court cases, civil cases within the Supreme Court system. Currently, there are 52 such specially trained mediators. Our mediators have had intense training. I mean, this is not just something they do in a day. They've had, um, in some cases, almost 100 hours of training uh, in terms of dealing with all these uh, civil matters. Uh, attorneys, I give them kudos. They, they know their stuff, and they are trained in dealing with litigation matters and dealing with criminal cases. Uh, with mediation, on the other hand, though, you have these mediators who are from different vast sectors of society, uh, education, business, uh, some even in the legal field, finance field. And so uh, a, a litigator is very good at doing uh, court cases, litigation, and all that. A mediator now takes on a different role. They're more there as objective parties to try to get the litigants or the people in the, the disputants or litigants, depending on which, whatever you're doing, to come in and try to find a common ground. Uh, almost a, a sense of, let me hear your interests, let me hear your needs, let us see where we can meet halfway. And so mediators are trained at getting parties to do this. The Bar Association appears to be fully on board with mediation, or at least willing to take it for a test drive. What has happened traditionally, and this comes from even the British practice way back, is that we have an adversarial system. So when two parties go to court, they go to court fighting and with their legal guns. That is not necessarily the best way to bring a dispute to an end in a way which does not cost too much money and does not take too long. Mediation is a wonderful alternative to that. For some attorneys, including senior counsel Michael Young, it is the best way of reaching a resolution in the shortest possible time, with the least cost to the parties involved. When you really look at litigation, not only in Belize, but in so many places across the world, you will find that at times litigants will die without any determination or resolution of their disputes. What this does, of course you have to have an effective and an efficient litigation process, but that involves many, many technicalities, rules of evidence and all this kind of thing. If you can have processes in between that will bring the parties somehow together to explore the possibility of settlement, then you can have these matters being ended more quickly and with less cost. And in the event that you're wondering about mediators with an agenda, political or otherwise, who may seek to manipulate certain court cases in the favor of certain parties, Justice Abel puts paid to that speculation. A mediator does not decide the case. They have no power of decision making. None. It forms no part of their brief. Um, so there's no risk 
that um, the process could become infected by politics or anything like that. Um, all they do is facilitate the party, try to move the parties toward a settlement. It's the parties who have to arrive at the agreement. And if they're not happy with the agreement, and they're usually advised by their lawyer in the process, then there is no agreement. So politics plays no part whatsoever in mediation. Uh, and I can confidently say that. Several big cases have recently been ordered the way of mediation, including the Mayan land rights matter and Big Ye, both cases in which GOB is a party. Mike Rodon for News 5.